Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error that says the msvcr100.dll file is not designed to run on your computer error. So we're going to jump right into this tutorial and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in folder options. Best match should say file explorer options. You want to left click on that to open it up. And now you want to left click on the view tab. And underneath where it says hidden files and folders, you want to select where it says show hidden files, folders, and drives. And then you want to left click on apply and OK. Once you've done that, you want to go back and open up the start menu again. Once you've done that, you want to open up a web browser. It doesn't matter which web browser you open here, but you want to get over to google.com. And into Google, you want to type in msv cr100.dll missing download and you want to hit enter one of the best matches should be for a domain that says msvcr100.dll free download you want to make sure you're downloading it directly from this domain of dll slash files.com and you want to left click on that one time to open up this page and now you want to scroll down until you get to available versions so depending on if you're running a 32 or 64 bit version of the Windows operating system, this will make a little bit of a difference. But since most people are going to be running a 64 bit version of Windows, that's the one we're going to be demonstrating with today. So I'm going to select the download button right across from it, the most recent one, and the more recent ones are listed higher up on the list generally it looks like. So you want to select that. So if you did it correctly, it should be in a zip file format. So I'm going to left click on show in folder or however you normally would depending on what web browser you're using. And I'm going to move this file over to the desktop. So now that we have this compressed file on our desktop or compressed folder I should say, I'm going to close out the web browser. I'm going to double click on the folder and I'm going to drag the msvcr dll file over to my desktop just by left clicking on it, holding it down and moving it over to the desktop. And then you can close out the compressed folder and you can also delete the folder from your desktop at a time as well. And then I recommend that you open up the start menu and type in this PC. It should be listed as a desktop app. I'll left click on that. And then you want to go locate the drive in which Windows is installed on. Most people should be the local disk and it might have a C drive letter or a different drive letter. It's not the biggest deal in the world. It could very well be different but there should be a little picture of a Windows icon right above the hard drive as you can see right here. So that is the one we're going to be opening up here. So double click on it. And now I'm going to do the same for the Windows folder. And now, depending on if you're running a 64-bit or 32-bit version of the Windows operating system, you're going to be looking for different things here. So for 64-bit versions of Windows, you're going to be looking for the System32 folder in which we're going to take the DLL file on our desktop and just drag it over into the System32 folder. You might see you'll need to provide administrator permission to move this folder. Click Continue. Now if you're using a 32-bit version of the operating system, you're going to be doing the exact same thing I just did except with the SysWow64 folder. Again, SYSWow64, all capitals. And then once you've done that, I'd recommend closing out of any open programs or applications you have on your computer. If you want to change your folder view option back to hidden, you're more than welcome to do that at this time as well. And I would recommend you restart your computer as a final result and then try and run the application and hopefully the problem should be resolved in question. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.